Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this particular video we will understand uh, another type of risk which is uh, credit risk like what is credit risk as well as uh, we will understand uh, this with the help of an example as always and uh, next upcoming video we will understand uh, and cover uh, other types of risk as well so do watch the, those videos as well but before moving towards the main if you didn't subscribe our channel knowledge topper yet please do subscribe our channel knowledge topper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well uh, where you find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well so let's get into this video um, as written on your screen credit risk is a measure of a borrower's ability to repay a loan and the interest charge on that loan. The borrower can be a person or business and by assessing credit risk, bank their profits by extending credit to only those borrowers most likely to pay them back and reduce their losses by not extending credit to those who may default on their loans. Uh, it is uh, as simple as that, but uh, we will understand uh, this uh, with the help of an example and in depth. So, uh, like, uh, if I can explain you this further, like, uh, uh, what is credit risk analysis? This is the most important thing. Like, how and why uh, do financial institutions like banks perform uh, credit risk analysis? Because uh, uh, they want to measure. Uh, the capacity, the ability of a borrower, uh, either uh, the borrower will repay their loan or not and either uh, the borrower will repay their interest charge or not. So these all are the questions that uh, insist uh, uh, bank uh, to perform credit risk analysis and uh, we will look uh, credit risk analysis now. So here it is like uh, how to perform uh, credit risk analysis. Now the number one step in this is uh, uh, to run a credit check on the borrower. Uh, to know more about credit check uh, apart from uh, what, I, uh, what, will I, what will I explain you in this. Uh, if you want to know more about in speciality about a credit check you can watch my video. I will post a link here. Uh, like. Uh, a credit check you can say is a report okay that shows the borrowers credit and payment history uh, like um, uh, like if the borrower has any other loans that are in areas uh, uh, they will check and uh, uh, told you about that it will also show how much credit the borrower has elsewhere and uh, uh, this credit check report will give the lender a good idea on whether the borrower meets his financial obligation in future or not and if they are met on time uh, and uh, you know there are a lot of uh, institutions there are a lot of credit bureaus in different countries uh, uh, they can uh, let uh, lenders know about uh, such information related to a particular borrower okay and uh, these credit uh, bureaus uh, do not decide whether an individual or business should get a loan they just provide information so a bank or a financial institution or a lender can make an informed decision okay uh, like uh, all these credit agencies are not government run but they charge for their reports but uh, uh, the government does not uh, does does mandate how they operate okay and uh, when a bank or lender uh, looks at a credit report they will see that the agency has uh, assigned a three digit number to the borrower and uh, this number ranges from 300 to 850 uh, in different countries uh, uh, they have different methods uh, to verify those and uh, to check uh, those uh, basically uh, they plan accordingly uh, with their systems and uh, according to uh, how they can check and perform credit report or credit analysis okay so now let's uh, use an example of how a credit report can help a bank decide whether to give a loan or not let's assume there is a person mr. a and uh, mr. a uh, lives in uh, um, you can say San Francisco of uh, United States uh, California he goes to a local bank uh, in the hopes of getting a loan to get his small business uh, off the ground he already has an account at the bank but uh, uh, no credit cards okay as part of the bank's loans procedures, the bank representative will do a credit check on uh, 
Mr. A, uh, the banking representative goes online to access uh, Mr. A's credit report, which he can do quickly on his computer. And uh, the credit report shows that Mr. A typically pays his credit cards and other bills when they are due. In other words, he has managed his credit well. In fact, his credit score is, uh, uh, you can say, pretty much, pretty much good. There will be other consideration for the bank, but uh, as a starting point, this solid credit rating score uh, puts Mr. A in a good position to get the loan. Uh, now, in number second step, uh, um, uh, banks or financial institution or uh, lender ask for employment letter from a borrower. Okay, like um, if it's an individual asking for a loan, then the lender may ask for a letter of employment. Like uh, this would be written by the HR department of the borrower's company. Uh, outlining how long the individual has worked there and uh, how much the salary he makes uh, as well as uh, we will uh, use uh, our previous example of Mr. A uh, again um, let's say Mr. Is, Mr. A is not starting a new business but simply wants to get a new vehicle okay a new car he goes directly to the dealership he does not need to go to the bank for the loan unless he wants to as most dealership will deal with the bank for their customers however the dealership doesn't know mr a and as such they want to make sure he can make his monthly payments on time so the dealership representative asks for a letter of employment in this case uh, the letter shows that Mr. A has worked at his company for five years. The letter also shows his annual salary. This figure out uh, and uh, this figure is basically a good indicator that the monthly payments on the car will not be a burden for Mr. A. And the dealership uh, weights this with the fact that Mr. A is putting a deposit of $5,000, let's say we assume, uh, $5,000 of down on the vehicle ultimately, they decide to go ahead with the sale with Mr. A. So these all are the steps uh, while uh, a particular um, uh, company, uh, while a particular lender uh, will ask for employment letter. And uh, the third is uh, ask for the business plan. Uh, you know, sometimes um, what exactly is the company planning to do with the bank's money? It is very important for the bank uh, that they want to know and assure that uh, what the borrower will do with their money. A business owner should be prepared with a business plan that shows how the money will be spent, what it expects to make in profit and when. So these all are the questions that uh, may ask uh, uh, by, the uh, by the lender. Uh, or financial institution or bank uh, uh, ask uh, from the borrower for the business plan. Now the fourth is request uh, uh, the company's financial statement. Look, when dealing with the business, the bank may want to see some of a company's financial statement. Like for instance, they could ask for previous tax returns for the business, the income statement or the cash flow statement. Uh, like all of these statements will show the lender the business ability to make monthly payments. Uh, another type of uh, credit risk analysis is uh, uh, is ask for a credit reference, which is very important as well. Like in some cases, a bank may ask for reference from a company like the borrower does business with currently. Uh, these are businesses that have previously extended credit to the borrower like a supplier. This, was all, this will also show that the borrower uh, meets his financial commitments. Um, now, the last is ask for collateral. Um, like uh, uh, if the financial statement, uh, uh, if the financial statement and credit history are good, like uh, uh, like, but the loan is significant, okay, and the lending institution might ask for something as collateral. Uh, you know, collateral is something of value the borrower will give to the lender. Like if the loan is defaulted on, it is considered to be a form of security. We all uh, must know about uh, collateral. Like. Um, Examples of collateral uh, includes cash, investments, or a home as well. And uh, an expensive car uh, uh, could be considered collateral as well. But uh, there's one important thing for you guys. Keep in mind, it will depreciate quickly and the bank may not accept it. This is the one and most important thing. Okay. Now, these all are the uh, credit risk analysis uh, and how to perform credit risk analysis by uh, several financial institutions and uh, banks. 
Now, uh, there is one important question which may arise at some point uh, in your mind. Like, why is credit risk management important? You know, uh, credit risk management is important to a bank or financial institution because, because it allows them to minimize their loss. You know, every time a bank supplies credit or give loan, it is putting itself at risk. The risk of not getting that money back because the bank must wait the possibility of profits versus the risk of defaults and they do this by gathering as much information as possible about the borrower and uh, you know risk management uh, refers to more than just procedures for granting a loan it also takes into account the bank's big picture like does a bank's existing loan procedures leave enough in the bank's reserve so they can cover any immediate losses so that's how and why uh, is credit risk management important from the perspective of uh, bank or financial institution or lenders so this is the video for all of you guys hope you understand about uh, uh, credit risk like what is credit risk and how to perform credit risk analysis so this is the video for all of you guys uh, if you like this video thumbs up do subscribe our channel knowledge shopper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well you will find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well thank you so much everyone it's time to say bye bye